Hey, look, I finally fixed my driveway. Well, as best as I could anyways, so hopefully this won't bother you guys. All right, let's get to it. So we need to go feed our uh, feed lot cattle or feeders. Get in here. Go over here. Our little ranger. So we got a few straw bales. Looks like some of them fell off the back there. They won't get in too much of the way. go we'll just leave that running and jump over here looks like we left the flashers on our little magnum here hopefully we won't have any problems uh, feeding with these duels on don't think we will anyways That didn't take long. All right, now well, let's back this feed wagon back in. About hitting that post right there. There we go. Nope. Get a pile of feed over there. All right. All right, now that's done. They look like they're doing good. So we need to start chopping. You get the uh, wind row going over here. Jump into this 4020. Good old 4020. We'll drive this over to our field. So, if you don't remember, we lost a lot of our crops. So, because we needed to get our soybeans planted. So basically, we needed to get the the straw off the field and implanted, and we were just too busy to get our hay crop off of our field. So we've lost a lot of yield. So we're gonna go down here. One field is basically completely worthless. The uh, second field, this field, and the other field is probably worth our time at least, so we'll get this started. Alright. Get this guy going here. Uh, he's actually doing pretty good. So it seems like we didn't lose everything, but we probably definitely lost a lot. So this isn't the biggest field. Looks like we still got a little bit of grass, which is alright because we are going to chop this. So if you can see our funds are down a little bit, we ended up buying a chopper. Get a little overhead view while the 4020's raking. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me around. It wakes me up. We ended up tedding this field, that's why we have to rake it. I 
looks like the 420 is handling this rake nicely. Get a little behind the cab view here. Now, while that rake is going, we need to, one, unload the bales somewhere. So we gotta figure out where we're gonna unload them. And also, we need to go pick up our new chopper. So the chopper's down at the dealers. The only issue is, is we need the, I'm gonna take a left here. We need a, the gooseneck to go pick it up. So let's get... I don't know exactly where I want the bales. I'm thinking right over here just because it's a pretty high point even though there's a pond right there but we're gonna put them right there for now. So I know in seasons they slowly deteriorate but I don't think there's a overhead that basically helps the deterioration basically a hay shed I should say so oops not doing a very good job of backing up alright now I got that hooked up take this right over to the side here. We'll go on the side of the barn and there we go around our old barn here and hopefully well this is definitely challenging the suspension on this truck. I'm gonna have to get out view this. So I basically made an absolute mess so we won't even show that so we need to head up to the dealership now. Go around here. So we got the gooseneck on basically unloaded. That's a major hill we gotta go across every time we go down our driveway. So we will see you at the dealer. So we are just pulling into the dealer here. So they said they got it ready. So I think it's in their building there. There we go. We got our trailer ready. Now this is our 1950 New Holland here. So looks pretty good. So obviously it's not new. It's new to us, but not new. So let's see how this bad girl starts up. little cold start there otherwise working good so we need to go over get this on the trailer go get back up and line up a little bit so the head won't hit. Doesn't appear like it is. And we need to make sure we keep it on the back axles. And we need to make sure we keep it straight. Jump out quick. So, might have to fold it up and move it.
There we go. Now we'll back it up slightly. Another cold start. There we go. I don't think this will allow a strap. Nope, not seeing it. So we'll have to be awful careful. There we go. It's riding nicely so far. So here we go. We're getting on the street. This street isn't exactly, let's call it not smooth, so looks like it's riding good. So we will see you back at the farm. We're arriving back at the farm here, just going through our entry gate. I think it looks like it's working good. Alright, pulling right in here. Right in the Oh wow, look at this road. Whew. Whew. Still on. Still on. Alright, now we're going to pull it into... No, we're going to pull it into the work area here. Unfold the ramps and get it unloaded. Start this bad girl up again. Yeah, very careful to go down these ramps. Alright, here we go. Alright, so now we'll head over. So we're gonna go grab one of our forge wagons. Start picking up some, start chopping some grass. So, there we go. Alright, got some instrument pan, a few gauges. So, a little mile per hour gauge is kind of odd. You have to look over there to see your mile per hour. A little different old school. So I was planning on bailing this, but uh, because of it sitting out for multiple days and everything, I don't think it's bail quality. So we're just going to chop it up. That's what you do with a feed like this. Hopefully, once it ferments, it'll get a little bit better quality. Put that down. There we go. Start chopping away. Alright, so we are over here chopping. So this is our backfield that we swapped earlier. So this did get rained on, so I did make a mistake. I thought I could actually... I thought I could actually uh, chop the hay, but apparently I was wrong. So can't chop that hay, but I, I forgot. I always had a mod in 17, so I kind of forgot about that. So. The only reason I was going to chop it is because it got rained on. Because it got rained on, uh, wasn't the best quality hay, so I'll probably end up round baling that hay, just because it's not small square bale quality. So, got rained on, it sat out for 
extra long because we're trying to get our double crops in. It's all right. So this actually, we lost some yield because in seasons you lo do lose yield when it rains and when your hay sits out extra long, which is all right because wish we had more to chop because we're definitely uh, behind on our foliage for our cattle. Looks like we have, we're getting about seven tons still per acre. So not the best, but definitely make some use out of this uh, hay that got rained on. Not the biggest field, so I think I plan on uh, I'm going to chisel this grass up and I'm going to plant this grass here. So I'm just going to do that because of the high line poles running through it. I want to be able to uh, use coarse play. When you uh, chisel around them high line poles, you can uh, use coarse play. We've got just almost three tons. So I don't think we're going to get very many wagon loads while we're chopping this just because you just look at the rim rows, they're not the biggest. So I'm enjoying this new 1915 New Holland. So this is actually a reskin, so I don't know if it's exactly like the New Holland Chopper 1915, but uh, best old school chopper I know of out there. Just about halfway full on that wagon. Chopper can really scoot with these small wind rows you don't have to go very slow gonna have to figure out a way how we're gonna get the other wagon here so might use the uh, 4020 over there to run the wagons back and forth to our silo. front view of the new Holland here as it picks up. Missed a little bit around that pole. the looks of this new Holland definitely old school even though it's a reskin definitely close to the real model
Looks like our trailer is already getting pretty full here. Look at that, this thing is piling. So we need to get this over to the side of the field so we can hook up our other wagon. We gotta run this one over to our silo. Man, gonna have to take it easy because that thing is freaking heaping on the back. All right, take this right over here. And we don't want to park it downhill because that would be an accident waiting to happen. So I think we're going to park it right to the side here. There we go. Now we will jump into our 4020 here pull over here hook up most uh, silage wagons they have a quick hook up back up here Go. Oh man, that thing is full. Here we go. Pulling it out of the field. There we go. Alright. See if this old 4020, this old iron, can pull this nine tons home. We'll see you at the silo. Alright, so we are unloading this into our silo all nine tons there we go now we will drive this old girl back to the chopper and get another load see you back there all right, we're driving back into the field over here. Just leave this old box about here on a hook. Pull this old tractor. All right, start this bad girl up again. Takes a while. Now let's get back over here, start chopping where we left off. So we're going to probably have to leave a lot in the field because we did leave a little bit. Rows, wind rows aren't the best. Looks like the wind got to it a little bit. Up here we left off. Alright, so let's turn this bad girl on. This girl definitely has a tight turning radius. There we go. We just lose a few miles per hour when we go uphill.
Not much. Still doing good. So I think we'll probably get maybe three right wagon loads off this field. Which will be about 36 ton. Nothing to write home about, that's for sure. But better than nothing. Bad luck this year in the rain. We should be happy. Here we go. Looks like there's something wrong with our forge trailer here. We should only be one four full, but it's showing it's completely full. like I was a little bit off of my estimate. We might only get two trailer loads. Now we only have a couple more rolls left. I was way off, can't do much for estimating, but we only got two wagon loads, so we lost a lot of uh, yield off this field, but it's what farming does, win some and you lose some. Pull this old girl out here, so we're just going to pull this back with the uh, chopper here. We're going to head over to and we'll put it into our silos. We will see you over there. Alright. Pulling up here to our silo. There we go. Empty this grass in there. Got a pretty much a hopping trailer load there. So we did get all of our grass off. Uh, we lost yield on one field. We ended up having to bale our bigger field of grass and we were able to chop our last field. So we just got done with this chopper, backing it up in the little overhang storage here. Over the head. There we go. Shut this old girl off. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later on Autumn Oaks. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.